So, what is a popular game among you these days? What's a popular game? Yes, the popular game. What is that? I don't know, but anyway, you know. <laughs> so, uh, back in the days, like YouTube, is, it, is that a game? That's a kind of popular thing, right? Yeah, just a popular thing. But that's a good answer, I think. So, it's like, some somebody says like oh what's youtube i don't know what youtube is then what are you gonna say who doesn't know youtube you will say that right yeah. who doesn't know that everybody knows youtube how how you never know youtube is that real we will say so that means youtube is a kind of trend and it's a popular thing among us and it's kind of common and everybody does YouTube. So it's a kind of trend that everybody does. That's the movement. So today the title is Yeah, it's a little bit not aligned though. So it's meditation movement. So from today on, we're gonna make the trend of meditation. It's like, uh, do you pray? No. Then you're gonna say, who doesn't pray? No. You will respond like that. Like, oh, who doesn't pray? Of course we all pray because it's our theme, like movement, the meditation. So you are the remnant. That means remnant are the people who meditate on God's word day and night okay is that right then you are going to have this meditation movement in your life that's when finally you can say that i am the remnant without the remnant movement the meditation movement it's hard to say that we are the remnants so we're gonna make it a trend in our life <coughs> so how do we have this meditation movement the meditation starts from God's word, right? You know that. The word of God is the beginning of this meditation movement. Of course, you listen to God's word by listening to the messages, like Sunday message, like a senior pastor message, and your assistant pastor message, and sometimes English service message. You listen to a lot of messages, but the answer will also be shown to you in your Bible reading. Reading the Bible will help you be enlightened. I uh, hope you can understand it. Like you can understand the Word of God more accurately. So um, your summer vac vacation is coming to an end right now, but before finishing your summer vacation, try this in your free time. You have a lot of free time actually. So maybe a lot of you will go back to school on Tuesday, right? Are you listening? Like, do you go back to your school on Monday or Tuesday? Friday. Friday? Are you going back to school on Friday? Do you know what Friday means? Like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yes. So, yeah, Wednesday. Okay. That means you have Monday and Tuesday. If you go back to school on Tuesday, that means you have your Monday. At least just one day, you are going to try to read the Bible and then you listen to the message. Reading the Bible, now you know what that means. Reading the Bible and listen to the message for a short time every day will make the difference when you do something every day that's the trend that's the movement the movement should start from you one person and then it has to be connected to the prayer we all know that but um i don't think many kids try to connect the prayer with breathing it's like you breathe in and you think about god's word and you hold it 
your prayer topic and exhale and that's how the breathing prayer works and you have heard so many times of how to do this but maybe some of you never tried so this vacation at least one day you are going to read a bible and listen to the message and then breathing prayer you try that just at least once and then you will see how you can continue to do this every day without one day how can we start every day right the every day starts from the first day and what evidence will come to you what evidence will come maybe the answers to your prayer maybe <laughs> some of your friends will accept the gospel through you so many things are evidence but peace in your heart will be the first evidence and that is the most accurate thing because Satan can show you many things. Satan can make some events, but Satan, what he cannot give us is the peace. If you have the peace in your heart, that is what God gave you. So that's why the peace will be the most accurate evidence. May you enjoy this peace every day and make that peaceful day in your vacation. Amen. Okay, I'll pray that you will enjoy the peace that the world cannot give you and then make that your trend or your movement from today on. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you. Thank you for calling us as the remnants who can meditate on your word every day. Let us have this day during this vacation and let that day begin our meditation movement that will shine the light so that we can have the peace in our heart as the evidence. Please bless all our remnants to have that peace every day. We pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Thank you for the message. I pray may from come from the answers in our remnant days. Let's sing the praise Jesus love. Kingdom and the power and the glory for